So in this section, we're going to start to talk about percentages, and this video will quickly introduce it. Yeah, a percentage is a way to say something about a part of the whole, yeah? a fraction of everything, and therefore it is related to fractions and decimals. Yeah? Two different ways to say something about a part of the whole, which you are familiar with already. Okay, so in this video, we're going to relate the three. Uh, to each other, yeah, and how you can convert a percentage into a fraction and a decimal into a percentage and all other possible combinations. But I just quickly want to say that a percentage is what we call um, out of a hundred, okay? So for instance, a century has a hundred years, had yeah? or a hundred cents in uh, in a dollar or in a pound, yeah, and I think uh, in French, at Paul Francais, you say cent, which means a hundred, and it all comes goes back to the Romans. Uh, but anyway, that's a long story. I'm not going to bore you with that. But it's, it says something out of a hundred, a percentage out of a hundred. So if I have, for instance, the percentage, let's say thirty-seven uh, percent, okay. Now, that means 37 out of 100. So if I would have to write that as a fraction, that would be 37 out of 100. Yeah, that's nothing more than that. So these two things mean the same. 37% equals 37 out of 100. Please note, there's no percentage sign here anymore. Now, what is that as a decimal? Now, you've learned that before. 37 over 100, that will be 0.37. Okay, so to go from a decimal to a percentage, I would multiply it by 100%. Yeah? 0 0.37 times 100% is 37%. And to go from a fraction to a percentage, I have to make sure the denominator is 100. Yeah, so let's have a look at, for instance, the next example. If I have 27 out of 50, what is that as a percentage? Well, the percentage is out of a hundred, yeah? I know that there are a hundred years in a century, a hundred cents in a dollar. So I've got to find that equivalent fraction, which gives me out of a hundred. Well, I time that by a factor two. I'm sure you've already discovered that. So that is equivalent 27 over 50 to 54 over a hundred. So 54 out of a hundred. So that will be 54%. Yeah, and as a decimal, that will be, you have a think now, 54 over 100, 0 0.54 indeed, 54 hundreds, yeah? It's all connected, it's all related. Okay, what shall we do now? For instance, uh, I can give you a decimal, and then we'll go on to the next video. 0 0.08, yeah, now careful, especially when you have 0, 0.0 and then a number, like in this case. Now, what is that as a fraction? Well, the place value I said in one of my previous videos is important. Those are the tens and those are the hundreds. And how many hundreds do I have? I have eight hundreds, yeah? And for fractions, you have to simplify that. Eh? Take out the common factor for fifties, for instance, eh? divide both by two, but I can still simplify that to 25s, okay? So, or perhaps you do divide by four in one go if you see that. Yeah, so 2 over 25 is the same as 0 0.08, but what is it as a percentage? Well, a percentage is out of 100, so that will be 8%, okay, and not 80%, because 80% as a decimal would be 0 0.8, yeah, or 0 0.80 if you like, yeah, but you don't really have to write that one, yeah. As a fraction, that will be 80 out of 100, yeah, and if I simplify that, 8 over 10, so 4 over 5. Okay, so percentages as fractions and decimals say something about a part of the whole, and a percentage is always out of 100. Okay, example questions, yeah, in the next video. I'll see you there.